things these days, especially in the media you consume constantly, are very cut and dry. Five ways to do this, three things you should never say, 35 Amazon products I found you need in your kitchen. The film I'm going to talk about now counters this in the most wonderful ways. Here is a story of people who may or may not have existed in a town that definitely feels very real. Make of this what you will, the film exists for you to interpret it. Batati hun, let's go. Hey y'all, my name is Acharita. Welcome back to my channel where I talk to you about movies and occasionally with people making movies. Today, let's take a look at Ram Reddy's The Fable, starring Manoj Bajpayee, Priyanka Bose and Deepak Dobriyal in the lead roles. The film premiered at Berlinale just about over a week ago. साल है 1989 सेटिंग है हिमालयाज में नालदेरा या मसूरी जैसा एक मतलब वेरी फेमिलियर सा शहर जो अगर आप नॉर्थ इंडिया से हो बचपन की समर हॉलिडेज में आपने कभी ना कभी देखा होगा इन द फर्स्ट शॉट यू मीट देव Before you see him over a black screen, you hear him brush his teeth. Ram Reddy wants you to feel Dave's presence before being allowed to visualize it. As the visuals do fade in, you see Dave put moisturizer on his shoulders, which seems like a quirk at first. But by the time this one take long elaborate scene with Dave moving out of the bathroom into his house, out of the house into his workshop, and out in the fields as the camera mostly follows him, by the time the scene is complete, something so outrageous has occurred that the act of putting moisturizer Moisturizer on his shoulders takes on a whole new meaning. It's wild. It's so good. Ram Reddy, who has also written the film, then opens up the world, which is real and relatable, and yet strange and magical. Dave and his wife Nandini live in a palatial home in the hills with their young son Juju. Their daughter Vanya is away for school, but it's chutti time, so she's come home. It seems to be a regular rich family. Dave has inherited acres and acres of land from his ancestors, who we are told up front were given the orchards by the British for. For their loyalty, Ram wants you to like this family, where everyone talks very politely, is very well mannered and cultured. But also, he's telling you a little bit as he goes along, not to entirely trust them, especially the patriarch Dev. Dev has spent his whole life caught up with doing things he's supposed to do and do them right. But right as the film opens and the first tree burns down in Dev's orchard shortly after, his lack of an adequate reaction to the occurrence is ominous and scary. This here is a man finally faced with strife, having to deal with something he's not equipped to deal with. Nothing in his life has prepared him or taught him to face a challenge. There is no way to predict how he's going to operate now. The film emphasizes Dave's unpredictable nature over and over until it reaches a breaking point. Until the issue facing him suddenly becomes so huge, the man now backed into a corner makes a series of bad decisions. Manoj Bajpayee goes without saying is excellent in the part. It's a joy to see. See an actor like him deliver Joram, Killer Soup, and now the Fable in such close proximity, and yet each performance is as different from the previous one as it can be. Dave's wife Nandini knows not to shake things up either. When asked to sing, she sings. When asked to cook, she cooks. When asked to pack up the house and move, she does. It's not so much submissive as it is compliant because she shares Dave's secret. Played by Priyanka Bose, Nandini, whose name also has a sense of divinity to it. It as a beautiful singing voice, almost as if she longs to go back to a long-forgotten home. Priyanka Bose is just excellent in the part as well. The story is narrated in voiceover by Deepak Dobriyal's Mohan, the estate manager, loyal to a fault. Mohan, whose name also is Godly. Is subservient. As wonderful as it is to see Deepak Dobriyal do anything on screen, it's extra gratifying to see him perform the hell out of a dramatic role, which requires him to tone down the theatrics like you've scarcely ever seen the actor do before. In a memorable scene, Dave asks Mohan to lock the door behind him when he leaves, and the one look of heartbreak mixed with derision that crosses Deepak Dobriyal's face defined the film for me. Like Dave, Mohan too only realizes his life has more meaning than what he's simply been doing when. When things go wrong, you hear him say that it's been 35 years since the incidents of the story, and it almost sounds like after leaving the orchards, Mohan decided to write a book and is now reading chapters from the book in a cozy, warm bookstore over a crackling fire at a launch event. 
there are things in the fable that might leave you scratching your head. There are some unanswered questions. There's a subplot about wandering monks that left something to be desired. A climactic scene involving a handicap felt similarly out of place. According to Ram Reddy, his film is entirely up for interpretation and some of it he himself doesn't quite understand. Like, you know, stories we heard of weird and magical people who lived in faraway mountains when we were kids. He shot the movie on film, which doesn't only give it a more real-world feeling, but also makes it like tangible. You can almost touch it. The experiment is so successful, you're entranced and the magic realism in front of your eyes begins to feel like the truth. Things slow down and as the screen flickers and you see Flex dance on and dart across the frames, you're in 1989. The theatre you're in doesn't exist, the person sitting next to you vanishes and fireflies escape the screen around Dave encircling you instead. Is the film an allegory for colonial rule, reminding its viewers that all empires will catch on fire and fall one day? Is it a cautionary tale about human greed? Is it an environmental fable asking us to go back and become more one with nature. There's also incisive commentary on authoritarianism and what happens when power becomes too consolidated in one place. Or is it just a playground for cinematographer Sunil Borkar to create a stunning and mysterious sort of game-like interface for us to interact with? Hopefully you'll get to watch it soon and decide movie ka naam hai The Fable. Keep an eye out for it. Up next, we're going to talk about Vinod Raj's Kuttukali, starring Anna Ben and Suri. I hope you're clicking that subscribe button underneath this video before you leave. My name is Sacharata. Thank you for stopping by.